Three years ago, Jeff Bezos appointed two CEOs under him, Andy Jassy over at AWS uh, and Jeff Wilkie over the core Amazon product and, and what turned out to be physical stores, including now Whole Foods. This is Jeff Wilkie's first broadcast interview since he got that CEO title. And this conference is all about artificial intelligence and machine learning. So we talked about what that really means for driving Amazon's business forward, increased personalization, and even faster delivery times sub one day. Take a listen. We're going to see AI and machine learning embedded in all kinds of different products. So it makes personalization better. Uh, we just launched an enhancement to the iOS app that lets you screenshot a fashion look that you're interested in and, uh, and find something on Amazon that matches. We've got improvements to our forecasting service. We've got robotics working around in the FCs that make the job safer and, uh, and make it easier for people to do their work. So the work changes, but we have lots of people that we've uh, hired into our fulfillment centers at the same time as we've added robots. It, but uh, is there a crazy idea behind it? Because back 20 years ago, yeah. When you guys were first building out uh, this logistics operation, the idea of doing that was a crazy idea. eBay was doing the smart thing. They didn't have all this infrastructure <laughs> on the ground. Is there a crazy idea in the era of AI? Uh, I th what I think is going to happen is the stuff that we're doing for customers, which is all about big selection, really fast delivery speed, and low prices, is just going to get better through AI. So we've been, we've been improving delivery speed for years. We just moved Prime recently from two days to one day, mm -hmm. and we're going to keep improving the delivery speed across millions and millions of items. We announced this week that 10 million items are available for one-day shipping. We can't do that without AI and ML. Uh, and, I, and I wonder about that, because is there a decreasing marginal return on that? I mean, what, once you're doing one day across the board, is it worth it to invest tens or hundreds of millions of dollars into getting it within a fraction of a day for your core prime consumer. Do, do I really need it that much faster? Am I, am I even going to be home? Well, uh, some stuff you might. Okay. I mean, if you're out of baby diapers, you might need them fast, faster <laughs> than one day. Okay. Uh, so Prime Now is the service that we offer that's really fast. It's uh, less than an hour uh, if, if you need it that fast. Uh, and it has a pretty broad selection of items that are available. We also have delivery from our, some of our Whole Foods stores. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Amazon Fresh, so there are a bunch of services that are actually faster than one day, and we think we'll have more over time. More over time, guys. Uh, th this is not the limit. Uh, sub one day, more sub one day services coming. He had me on the diapers, of course. It's, it's been a while since I experienced blowouts as a father, and yes, I would have appreciated faster diaper delivery, but that just goes to show Amazon continuing to, to try to push on these ideas and see what new business, what new demand they can create through artificial intelligence, and explains why they've gathered this group of people here trying to create more of an ecosystem around that. John, fascinating comments on the delivery piece of this. You didn't actually really answer your question about the marginal impact here. I mean, presumably the fact that they've been bringing more of their business and future business in-house and making all of these investments into their own transportation network, they see a cost benefit to doing that, I, I would imagine. But how does, how does some of the other entities, like Whole Foods, for example, fit into that broader picture? Well, we see them starting to do uh, two-hour delivery with Whole Foods. And I think that's where the nuance is. You heard Wilkie talking about some products that make sense to do sub one day. I think the implication is some it doesn't. So you wonder whether you end up with more layering of delivery options versus just bundling them all into Prime. We're starting to see some of that uh, with Prime now. Perhaps we'll see more. But he's talking about the specific services, more of those that involve sub one day. I expect to see a lot more experimentation around exactly which products people do need to deliver that quickly.